Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'm gonna be unboxing, part testing, and reviewing this. This is the Flexstar 645 watt professional horticulture grow light. <sighs> Let's get to unboxing. Straight off the bat, non-discreet packaging. I hate having packaging like this turn up at my house, honestly. Like, that's a big red flag to me. Anyway, whoa, what's going on? Interesting. All right, so, user manual. Whoa, that, that is a hefty driver. Oh, an Australian power cord and a lengthy one at that. That makes me happy. Hangers, like a, I assume these are to help hang it from the LEDs themselves. That's interesting. Wire hangers. Not sure what they are yet. We'll find out. Daisy chain cord. And I assume that's to go from the driver into the LED lights. And finally, we've got the bar lights themselves. So they're, it comes pre-assembled. As far as I'm aware, this is a folding light. Really interesting design. It's even got hang points. So I wonder what these are for. All right, let's lift it out. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is a large footprint. It's a very large footprint. Okay, so I figured out what these are. These are waterfall mounts, and they're made so that you can hang the driver. Uh, it's got holes at the ends off a bar across the roof uh, in say a grow tent or any other enclosure. It's also got these fold out mounting uh, rubberized plastic uh, clips that will then clip onto the back of the LED bars if you wanted to have this uh, attached to the light itself. However, I'd actually recommend, because you've got a decent amount of cord between the driver and the LED light, if you have this in an enclosed environment, put this outside the environment. This is gonna be a major heat source and having it outside the grow environment is a benefit, especially if you're in a hot climate. I've been getting some really big lights recently and um, it's becoming interesting trying to show them off in what is relatively a small area. So this is obviously not how you hang the light, although it is interesting as a side lighting option maybe. <laughs> Let's turn it on. So let's have a look at the design of the light itself. The LEDs are spread out over six individual bars, which passively cool the PCBs uh, through an anodized aluminum rear plate. The six bars are configured in a foldable design. This allows for easy transport. And the LEDs themselves are Samsung 5630 3000K warm white and 6500K cool white LEDs. And in between those are space Osram 3535 660 nanometer red LED diodes. This gives the light a full spectrum coverage and makes it ideal for pretty much any type of growing situation. The driver is Flexstar's own and it's dimmable. So the dimmable function goes from 40, 50, 60, 80 to 100% and you can control it externally by adding a Zeus controller which is compatible with this LED lighting system. The LED driver itself can be mounted using clips on the back of the driver so that it clips to the LED strips and mounted on top of the light, or it can be externally mounted with the waterfall clips on racking that the light is suspended from. The claimed efficacy is 2.6 and the watt draw is 645 watts. So let's test that watt draw with a watt meter and hang it over a power sensor. I really like the connectors for this uh, light. They're just really premium. <laughs> they just clip together so easily too. Like, this light is a really premium feel light. So there are no hanging instructions for this light, 
But as you can see here, this is a 1.2 by one square meter area. So 1.2 square meters all up. I'm actually going to hang this over a 1.2 uh, by 1.2 square meter area. It's gonna be a four foot by four foot area that I'm testing. And just remember there will be no reflective walls on this area. So if you wanted to add in reflective walls, you could push up the efficacy that I get from this test. Okay, so I've hung it. So it's 13 inches above the canopy to allow for the height of the power sensor. All right, for some reason, my watt meter is broken. So I'm using a, a different one, um, but it doesn't have a visual display. I'll just have to use it on my smartphone, uh, which is fine. I just put up a screenshot of my smartphone here. <laughs> So this light's been on for about 45 minutes and we can now test the heat coming off it. On the external heat sink, I'm getting 49.3, 49.2 degrees Celsius, which is 120.5 degrees Fahrenheit. On the one in the very center, it's actually cooler. 48 degrees Celsius and 119 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the driver, 38.7 degrees Celsius and 101.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is the power map for the fixture and the average for that power map is 851. We times that by the square meterage, which is 1.44 square meters uh, because it's 1200 by 1200. And then we divide that by 676, which is the watt draw. That gives us an efficacy of 1.81 micromoles per joule. Remember, you would get a higher efficacy if you had reflective walls. You can push that right up. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. Happy hydroponicking.